Welcome back to the 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 Welcome um, so pretty cool stuff. I did a little bit of grinding. I got everyone up to 34. It was literally 11 minutes and nobody died or anything important happened. So I just felt like I didn't really need to keep it. Um, because it was, it wasn't much of anything. In all honesty, that's just the way it was. Anyway, I'll go for the team real quick. We're going to be taking on Chuck today and we may get started on the Safari Zone event. Depending, we'll see what happens here. Anyways, first up we have that's the year with a brave nature shadow ball surf thunder and dig This thing is very nice with rivalry, which sucks because I'm pretty sure that means it's bad against male Pokemon So yeah, anyways uh, next up we have 707 the uh, Skarmory brave bird curse steel wing assurance rockhead so brave bird rockhead this thing is gonna Obliterate it's gonna be very nice to have for this gym uh, next up we have purge of the kingdom of the mystic water who evolved last episode into a kingdra uh, with Surf Dragon Battle, Raw Beam, and Signal Beam, it has Sniper as well, I didn't mention that. Also, this thing has a ra uh, 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 careful nature, this thing has a quiet nature. Uh, Jose here is a, a hasty nature with Intimidate, Bite Flamethrower, uh, Thunder Fang, and Nasty Plot, so it's a very good Pokemon. Probably will not be used much at all for this gym. Next up we have Jing Hai the Meditai, who is going to get a lot of action, because I remember Counting it in my head, I think it's uh, somewhere around five, six times damage with the with the pure power boost and stab and super effective against the fighting type. So literally, using high is going to rip through this gym, especially with a choice ban. It's crazy. We did get a scarf, so I feel like I need to scarf it, even though though that'll only boost it to uh, like what seventy something, which sucks. Uh, it'll be like seventy seven or eighty somewhere around there. Uh, cause it only boosts by 1.5, but, you know. Anyways, it's got high jump kicks, like got ice punch, thunder punch, adamant nature. And then finally, we have Landwalker, the Torterra, who evolved last episode as well. Holding the Miracle Seed, adamant nature with Seed Bomb, Body Slam, Earthquake, and Super Power. So, uh, we definitely have a couple very good walls. We have Hestian 707, and Landwalker is a very good wall for things that it resists. Perdra has a lot of resistances, so that makes it really nice, cause it's weak, literally, to Dragon. So, that makes it very helpful. Anyways, we gotta beat Chuck here. Because Chuck is a menace. Um, I'm gonna let other. I don't know. I think I wanna see. I wanna let. Lead out with Jinghai. Because I think Jinghai might be able to get to level 37 in this episode. Because if he does, we will have a Metacham. And Metacham will be destroying faces. Because it's so good. And Jinghai outsped it. Okay. Goodbye. And I'm so sorry, little Rylu. Goodbye. You're, is, it isn't real. You're... Well, we'll see about that. What do you think, Jinghai? Jinghai is very eager. Oh, of course he is. He's going to get some very nice XP from this gym. He's going to rip through this entire thing. He's very close to evolving. I love it. Just goodbye! Dude, you're no match! Literally no match. I don't know what it used. But whatever it was, it failed. Literally, Jinghai is ripping through this gym. I knew that would happen. I'm just like, it's so frail, though. If something outspeeds it... Okay. Sorry, little Krogonk. You're just... There's no chance for you. Psych up. Nah, I don't need that. Machop. Tyro. You shouldn't have better Pokemon. Machop and a Tyro in a level 30 plus gym. Like, what you doing? Alright, you can fizzle shout at your Pokemon. We'll see about that. You do have three... So hopefully, you're going to focus energy. That was a mistake. Goodbye, Hitmonchan. And hit him on top. Yes! He did it! Woohoo! That is beautiful, actually. Because I'm not going to lead out with uh, him in the gym battle. But he's going to be so good now. He defeated every single trainer with one Psycho Cut. He didn't take a, a point of damage. Damn! Xinghai evolved into Metacham. You beautiful, beautiful mother trucker. What do you have to say now, man? He's very eager. You literally just evolved. Do you have anything else to say? Okay, so it looks like in gyms they only say they're very eager, and in Pokemon centers they're stretching out their bodies and relaxing. That's about the difference. Alright, so I'm going to lead out with someone else when we go into the gym battle, though. Alright, we're going to be leading out with our Skarmory. i got to go turn off the water. I kind of stopped there just so I can get a decent thumbnail image. Because that will most likely go... Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. 
That'll most likely be the thumbnail image. There's a large winch. Will you turn it? Indeed. Turn the winch with pure might. We, ju we just send Jinghai out here, and Jinghai would do it in a heartbeat, you know? Because he's so damn good now. Alright, Chuck, you ready to do this? <sighs> Rockhead Braybird's gonna be so nice. Uh, I don't really want to lead with Needle Queen, because Needle they have a most of them have Ice Punch, so anyways. Mm, the Pony Waterfall ran in my head, brother! Urgh! I just have the waterfall from pointing at me, brother! You spoil my training! I have to warn you, I'm strong training, training every day under this waterfall, brother! What, that has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true! Come on, we shall do battle, brother! I feel I do a fairly decent impression of him, Hulk Hogan. Anyway, we're up against Chuck. One of the best gym, one of my favorite gym leaders in all of Pokemon. Anyway, you're gonna lead up with the Primate. I don't really know what this thing can do, but I have very good defense stats, so I'm... Oh, you're gonna sub up. Okay. You're gonna keep subbing? It's literally not gonna help you out. You're tightening your focus. Goodbye. Sorry. Sub focus, Bunchy. It just ain't happening. Trust me. Next up is a Hitmonchan. Okay. He's sending it out right now because I'm pretty sure he has Ice Punch. Not Ice Punch. Thunder Punch. Um, so wh what do I want to do? Landwalker is not a good... No one's a good idea but Jinghai or 707. So we'll see how much the Thunder Punch does. Because I'm assuming he's going to have it. I don't know if this Pokemon gets Iron Fist. And this oh, I outspeed a Hitmonchan. Damn him, Monchan, you slow. And a bye bye I actually want to look that up. Hold on. Okay, never mind. We're good. I was thinking... It was, I didn't remember which monitor I had the thing up on. We're going to look up Hitmonchan. And uh, your next Pokemon is a Hariyama. Hariyama! Base 76 speed. Um, I don't know if I was... Uh, I was probably a higher level than it. Hariyama's only got, like, base 40. So this thing's slow as balls. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much... Will it one-shot? No, it will not. I mean... Oh, you literally sent me out into the best possible Pokemon. Sorry. Goodbye. No way you're living that. Alright, we're going back into 707. Jinghai doesn't need any more XP. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You whirlwind me into the perfect Pokemon. Actually, I think anyone except for Houndoom could have taken you down. Fake out, okay. You're gonna bounce. Interesting. I'm gonna break Bird again because he's gonna land and he paralyzed me, but that's okay. One shot. 707 is so good, bro. I love Skarmory. I really, I hadn't used it ever before. This is, no, he has one more. He has the Polyrath, Poly which we haven't fought yet. And I think because I'm just, I'm kind of worried about. You know, the Polar Wrath, I might just send... Okay, there we go. I might just send in Jinghai and let Jinghai just obliterate it. But 707 is going to get to level 35 here. So beautiful. We had two great Pokemon for this gym, bro. Two of them are Pokemon I've never used in playthroughs. They're both, I mean, excuse me. Anyway, next up is a Polar Wrath. And just to be safe, because I know he has Ice Punch. I'd say him in Landwalker, but he's got Ice Punch. So I'm going to go into Jinghai. I might have been able to go into Hestia and Thunder and Thundered it. Or Thunderbolt, whichever one I have. Anyway, Polarath. I really like the seals they have. We haven't lost yet, brother! Well, you will in literally one more turn. Goodbye. There's literally no way I don't think this thing can live it, except for Focus Sash. I don't know if there's enough bulk. You could probably be level 50, and I'd still probably one shot with Shanghai. Shanghai's too good. And we beat Chuck. That was too easy. We lost, brother. You lost, not me. <laughs> I know what he meant. Anyway. I lost? How about that? You're all, all right. You're worthy of Storm Badge, brother. We get the Storm Badge from Chuck. All right. Storm Badge is the Pokemon flying in the sea or town you've already been to, brother. Here, take this. Team one that's Focus Punch. I'm never going to use that. I promise you that. Oh, this focus punch, brother. It doesn't land if your foe attacking hits you. It's very powerful, man. It's a hit, but you made a great turning party. Take my number, brother. I don't know what the power of focus punch is, but... Anyway, cool stuff. Alright. Um, yeah. You're gonna give me fly. That's saying much if as you should have this. That's Chuck's wife, I'm pretty sure. At least it is in the normal games. 
Each flight of your Pokemon, you'll be able to fly instantly everywhere you been, anywhere you visited. Camper Be- okay. I don't care about you, Beverly. You're not important. We're gonna put, uh, Xinghai in last in the party, just because he's the highest level by far. Um, I don't remember what we need to do. Because, uh, the event with Balva, shouldn't that activate? Or is that not yet? It's apparently not yet. So anyways, we're gonna use the fly on our Skarmory. Uh, well, yeah, we'll get rid of Assurance. Assurance is bad in this game. It's better, it's like base 60 or base 70 in later gens. Okay, so let's go on back here to Olivine City. Because we gotta go back up the, the lighthouse. I thought Bao was supposed to call us. I never got the Seeker Potion. Damn it. <laughs> Cause like in the original games, he, he, uh, the, the guy gives it to you. Uh, as soon as you talk to him, you don't even have to, you can do Jasmine even before, uh, Chuck. So, I don't know. I forgot about that. So I, <laughs> it's straight here. I forgot to grab it. Cause I was expecting, oh, I already have it. I didn't need to worry. Can you miss some Pokemon of your find something where you lay? I was Pokemon I got this. I'll do the trick. Thanks. Hello to Jasmine. We missed you, Karen Amphi. Hopefully. Oh, please don't be finished with taking any- I don't care. How is Mr. Palu Palu doing? Yay. Now we are officially blind. Oh, I'm so relieved. It's so wonderful. Thank you very much. I'll return to the gym. Thanks. I'm pretty sure Balba calls us before- Wait, why did you not take the elevator? I don't know. Anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure Balba calls us before we're actually able to challenge Jasmine. Because, I don't know, I thought you were supposed to do that before you... Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Because I remember this. Oh, hey, Zokian, this is Warden Boba. Sorry to keep you waiting for the open surprise here. You know where it is? You're only getting inside the cabin in Sirenwood City. I don't know the voice. I think I gave him a, this kind of voice. We go through the more for sure. You should see the surprise here. We're another way. Clean visit. What? Who are you? Ah! Who are these people in black clothing? Zokian, please help! Yeah, of course he would randomly say, who are these people in black clothing, rather than, who are these people? So anyway, it's Steam Rocket, of course. Anyway, we'll be able to get a couple encounters on the way here, like once in the Safari Zone, and whatnot. Can you go snipe some baby Pokemon? Alright, what you got? Go back. Eh, I can body slam you, you don't really scare me. Goodbye. Alright, next up is a Mighty Enna. You have Intimidate? Yeah. With Superpower, she's still Loco. Oh, nearly. Okay, you roared me out. That's fine. Goodbye. Next up is a Cacturn. Let's give Hesty a go. Even though she doesn't have anything. <laughs> she literally does not have a move that's not new. Oh my gosh, that sucks. I need to get a Poison move on her. I need to figure out where we get... <sighs> Things such as, like, Sludge Bomb. There's no big kid. Okay. There's a boulder there? I didn't even see the boulder. I was trying to talk to the trainer. Okay. And a goodbye. Next up is a lair on. Uh, I can I can literally probably just superpower an Oko still. Nearly. Alright, goodbye. Landwalker's up to level 35. Oh yeah, I have to leave the executives to crush you. We'll see about that. Um, I was thinking I wanted to go back and heal, but I don't really need to, because we are actually going to get... Why is there an... Uh, boulders there? Let me actually see if there's an actual thing there, if it's just... Oh, she doesn't move. Okay. <laughs> sure. I wanted to see if there was actually something there that they were blocking. Why did I stay in? Bad idea. Abort. I'll let Hesky get some action here. Next up is a pile of swine. I'm pretty sure, I, he actually, thinking about it, Drano probably gave it some, I, he, I was thinking Drano probably gave it some, what even type moves would it be? Jeez, I'm so bad. Ground. It doesn't actually get any ground type moves by level up. Like, at, at least decent ones, I should say. And goodbye. I don't really feel like going back to heal because I don't need to. Big, big, my kid. Yeah. So we're going to be fighting uh, with some people who heal our Pokemon. Anyways, here we are on Route 47. This is the girl from Wayward Cave? Is that what it was? 
It's the 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 cave beneath the cycling road where you can catch Gibble. Mm. Oh, you must be Zakia. Baba has me and a community is for help and there. He's stuck his fight him. Yes, and now we hear Chain of Zakia helped it take the back by. Anyway, I don't remember what she leads out with, but anyway. Okay, um, I can literally just surf. Porygon 2 won't take much from that, and it just... Now you're grass type. That may... That... Well, that doesn't actually work anymore. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... Get rid of the drowsy. That's very nice, actually. Alright, I'm gonna take out the Eridos. And, wow, Swallow never nearly went down, too. We're destroying right here. Okay, uh, let's signal beam the Sharpedo now. And there goes Porygon. Goodbye. Signal beam is disabled, that's fine. I prefer to use Surf against you anyway. I'm a Dragon Breath, there's your kill. Yay! We did it! They don't say anything after battles. Yeah, retreat! Hey, there's one of the demons up ahead, me right here, you Pokemon! Alright, what you have to say, Kingdra? Or Perdra? Guarding you with adoration. Aww. I love you too. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna leave up with Jose here. Um, I guess we can't go down here until after we beat, but or act after we fight with Buck. Cause I know you can get an encounter before you fight with what's her name up there, the green-haired girl. I was wondering with you, Rob. Can't help with this running goods we had all over. Now you here? Let's take him down. Rats, rats, nats. Okay. You got an Umbreon, my boy! I don't even remember ever battling with him, so I don't know if I did. I'm gonna just flamethrower the gloom and just get that thing out of here. We're like right on par, too. That's crazy. I felt like we'd be like over leveled, but that's nice. Okay. Um, I don't really have to worry too much about what Needle Queen has, because it's not gonna have much of anything. That's a decent damage for an Umbreon. Alright, um, I'm a little scared of the Octillery, so I'm gonna Thunderfang it. Octazooka. Any Lord of Accuracy. Alright, um... Mmm, abort. And you Of course you parried me. Persia is already 36, holy crap. Okay. Wow, that didn't even kill. That sucks. Let's Dragon Breath the Octillery. Alright. No! Perdra! Thank you. Thanks, Umbreon. Appreciate you. Thanks, Buck. I'm the surgeon. We'll be happy with this. Yeah, we're gonna bet it's not over yet. Let me get your Pokemon. Thanks, my dude. Alright, what's over here? Or vibe. I uh, literally pointless. I can just sell that. Mm, yes. How the heck do we get up? Oh, yeah, don't you have to touch it? Yeah, the boulder, boulder cracked and shattered. So you must be Styrofoam or something. At least you can go down whatever set. Is this a different area? I'm gonna just catch the Pokemon. Just in case, and if it's not, then... I'll release the Pokemon. Because I don't know if this is a different area than the actual route outside, so... Uh, give a nickname to Kamachoke? No. That's Route 47, this was Cliff Cave. Okay, good. We can get our encounter here. Isn't there a TM around here somewhere too? It's like a lot of the stuff is just coming back from when I played the originals. Okay. I nearly killed it and that would have been kind of bad. Alright, there we go. Sweet. We have two encounters to trade out after this. After we do whatever. Isn't there like a hidden item actually on the rock or something? No? Okay. I mean, I don't remember a lot of what's happening here because I know this is. Oh my, I'm about to sneeze. Okay, I don't think there's anything more here. Because I know, at least in the normal games, this is where you can come and get the... Like, the jo the Hoenn Legends. Oh, Petrol. What's up, dude? Oh, you can catch Wild Trap Inch here. Oh. I wasn't trying... I'm trying to go up, but you can't go up from here, which sucks. You have to go left or right and then up. Alright, you should just probably get one shot. Sorry. You force us, you force my hand. So I'm gonna put 707 up front, because 707 is also just a good mix. Can I mess up our plans? I'm a Team Rocket executive. I like that full proton. I won't be beaten so easily. Hello, Petrol. Petrol, whatever you want to call him. Okay. 
Why do you have flame wheel? A scun tank. Um, scun tank can have flamethrower. I didn't think about that. Going into Landwalker. Ow. He did not take that well. How much did that do? That did way more than it should have. 56 points? I mean, technically you have a chance to live, but if you pair it... Shit. Okay. I'm just gonna... Purge this to... Jeez, um... Can you, like, not? Okay. You did it last that time, and I should be able to live one more. And goodbye. Jeez, I'm just gonna give me way more... Ear issues than I expected it to. Um, we're going to Xinghai. Just to be safe, just to obliterate this thing with a Psycho Gut. I don't have any other psychic type moves on the team. So, let's see. Electricity. Um. Let's go, Hestia. Well, I mean, not electric. I was thinking of Golbat and I wanted to use electricity, was what I was thinking. Oh, of course, you hypnosis me. Uh... Okay, that's a crit, I think. Um. Abort. And I outspeed a Golbat. How is that? Hey, single man, you're bound to be fired too late. You didn't even know what we're after. Oh, but will drop something. Toxic. Hey. Okay, team's gonna be a little bit beaten up going in here again. With, what's her name? Cheryl. Oh. You know what? I literally said Cheryl just before that thing popped up at the bottom. That doesn't matter. It's probably gonna be, like, exactly on time because of the, the little bit of delay of it. Ends up coming with the recording. Oh, you must be Zaki. I'm always totally irrelevant. I'm surprised to see you so soon. Maybe defeat these goons. So I thought, you gotta take it back. <laughs> it's too easy! Alright, I might just... Immediately just obliterate your face. Ow! Why'd you have to, like, burn me? Could use a Rossberry, but... Okay, goodbye, Houndour. We good. Next was a Persian. Okay, um... I'm gonna attack the Persian, I think. There we go. Sorry, Rababa. <laughs> the Driplum died of the hail in the air. That's funny. Alright. Goodbye, Bright. Uh, that thing. Please send me a Vice Beam. Thank you! Alright, next up is a Fira. And that should be the last Pokemon. Hey, we did it! Ti teamwork! 707, you kicked butt there. No way, how did we get beaten? Thank you for your yeah, man. Go ahead to your Pokemon is thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. My boys are hurting. Well, they're not just boys. We have like two girls on the team. 707 has a gender. You know, I didn't actually expect that. I was thinking Perder was a female and Hesty was a female, and then 707 was genderless. Nice. I didn't. I didn't remember that. So, anyways, we're gonna lead out with Torterra because why not? Oh, we have one more battle. Who even are you, Merly? I don't know. Whenever you battle with her. Maybe she's something to do with, like, one of the battle stations in, D in Diamond and Pearl. Because these are all the, uh, team-up people from 4th Gen. I've been waiting for you. We were able to him off. We couldn't defeat him. Now you're here, we can. Makes me happy. Now we should defeat these people. Some Saga and a kid aren't gonna beat us. Okay. Sure. I'll have to look up where, what Marley is, uh, what she does in the story. Or where you meet her. Because I don't remember her in the slightest. Damn it! I, I I'm kind of upset that you actually have a Sneasel, because Sneasel will not survive. Wow, that just obliterated that knocked out. Holy crap! All right, sorry. Ah, uh, well, now I feel bad. I didn't mean to. I didn't want to kill your Sneasel, but it just ended. Up, okay, now I can actually do it. I think. Yeah, Miss Drevis has Levitate. Alright, sweet stuff. Alright, let's go for the... You're gonna go for Aerial Ace, and with the Swords Dance, it's gonna Oko. Venomoth. Alright, let's just Body Slam. And holy crap, Ninjas just ripped through his team. Their team. Hey, what just happened? Thank you, I appreciate it. Just a bit. I'll hear your Pokemon up. Just a bit? You could have probably beaten him with it by yourself, but... A Lagging Tail! Why does that even exist as a night? Well, I guess for Trick Room teams, but... I don't like Trick Room. Trick Room sucks. What do you think, Hestia? Hestia saw him something. Would you like to give it to me? Because there's sometimes that, that, that your Pokemon freak out when you try to take it. The purple scale. Okay. Oh, Ariana. Of course. 
I'm gonna save because you never know what could happen. <laughs> Hold it! You have far enough to destroy the journey. Get ready for a thrashing. All right, let's do this. Bum bum ba da ba 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 da ba bum banana. I have a lot of fun when playing this game, man. I don't know what it is. I'm a dick. Okay, one, I didn't even know it got Earthquake. Um, and two, I'm surprised it didn't actually go for it. Why would you go for Seed Bomb? Literally makes no sense. 7 to 7 goes to level 36. Okay, Jinx. Jose. Jose literally works entirely for this thing. And you... Okay, Jose. Does, does he have Early Bird? No, he's Intimidate. Of course he is Intimidate. I knew that already. What? For that was a drain punch, but why did that do so much damage? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh -huh. I don't even know what to think about that. I'm just gonna go into seven of seven. Seven of seven is always the the best option. You, we're just gonna brave bird each other. That's fine. Thanks for up in my attack. We just beat Ariana. All right. Is that for a brat? You're very strong. The best informed archer. Oh, drop something. Team 84. I don't remember what that is. I'm typically really good with team numbers, but I don't know what that is. Boy! My boy! Not my boy. Thank you so much. What's your face? What do I get rid of? I'm not going to leave you in against water types anyway. I'd rather have Shadow Ball than Thunder. Thunder. Oh, I am so glad you got a poison type move. Hestia's dizzy. I'm sorry, Hestia. We gotta find you a bear king. That'd be awesome, actually, if someone, like, gen... Uh, what do you call it? To hatch? I'm just gonna heal up just in case, because you never know what's gonna happen. Um, because I don't remember if we can get healed up in the Pokemon Center or not. Someone just use my potions while we have the chance. Well, in the Pokemon Center, we should retire Pokemon. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes. Had too bad, brat. Oh! See, the kid has been messing with our plans. For some so young, I'm surprised we took out Proton, Petrol, and Ariana so easily. No matter, I can destroy you right here. Oh my boy, it's Riley. Hold it! I'll jump and take these guys down! I know they're contender very well. This could actually be interesting. This isn't the place. I'll be in front of the horizon. Be in last your nerve. I'll see you in front of the safari zone, Zalkium. But can I actually heal my Pokemon? See inside, sucker. Okay, I, I can just do this, actually. I feel a bit stupid for we I thought we actually battled in here. I legit forgot, but I leveled everybody up off screen. I actually don't think I need to heal anyone up. I think it was just HP that was the issue. I'm so excited Needle Queen got something to use, man. So I'm gonna actually go and encounter our encounter for down here on Route 48. Is our encounter Route 48? It's a Tangela. Okay, I can surf you. I did like nothing. I was talking. About, I was meaning his Mega Drain, but. Either way, it doesn't matter. Actually, now that I fly, I can go back to Kurt easily, so I should go get the Pokeballs I had him make for me. I mean, you get in your bay. Thank you. You ready to do this, Hestia? Hestia wants to play. Alright. Well, you're gonna get to play by running house on Archer. I'm in position, I won't let you NFM with the bronze. I'm actually surprised he um, straight up challenges you and you don't have to click on him. That's cool. Archer, Archer and Team Rocket Grunt. Thank you, Sethur. Needle Queen actually matches up super well. Alright, um, let's see, what do I want to do? I think I might go for a poison jab on the Scyther. Yeah, because Absol's just going to get obliterated by both of these guys. Hey, I got the poison too, let's go. You got your Lu Lu Lucario. Wow, they did so much damage. Alright, I'm surprised they didn't actually kill the... Zangus with that. Alright, alright. Sorry, Lucario. Let's hope I'm not by myself now. Give an Earth Ring. Okay, not, not bad. Now, this is when Thunder would be helpful. Um, what do I want to go into? I can go into Jinghai. And Jinghai actually might be my best option. Oh, of course, you went for Jinghai when you waterballed, you know? You use Bounce. Okay, um, plan B, we go into, 
707 always gets paralyzed, bro. It sucks. I'm gonna curse up. What did they use against me? Some hurt pretty bad. Okay, I'm going to Brave Bird the Moil. Mainly because the Gyarados is in the air. Okay, I need you to not be paralyzed, 707. Thanks. Next up is a Houndoom. Yeah, that's an issue. I knew that was gonna happen. I literally had no safe switch in. I mean, either Perder or Hesty would be decent in this situation. Perder has better special attack and a better typing. I mean, I don't know what I can say. I'm disappointed that I lost. Whatever you call it. Okay, can you, like, just quit it? Thank you so much, Perdra. You know how. You don't know how I was like, oh no. Oh, I almost used Shadow Ball. I forgot you're not Fairy type anymore. Ah, oh, we lost Skarmory, man. 707 was so good. That sucks so much. I mean, I shouldn't have left Skarmory in there. I just didn't have a good switch. I had no safe switching because I would have taken a ton of damage to Kingdra if I'd sent it in. Wasn't expecting that. We have what we need regardless. Don't expect me generous next time. That should be the series. You've been a great help. Thank you. Thank you, Zen. Living in Jodo is a crap. I shouldn't have scored with one of them. the Battle Frontiers now. Mahogany Town. The girls are in Golden Rod City. You should like to see you again. Alright. See you around. I, I want to actually figure out where they are in uh, Golden Rod City. Because Mahogany Town Riley gives us a Rylu egg. Which we can obviously exchange. Are you aware the Porygon is able evolving? You just need to upgrade it. Thank you. I don't have a Porygon right now, but... Man, I'm so sorry, 707. You have the Shell Bell. I think I'm gonna give you the... The lefties now. I I shouldn't have left it in. In all honesty, I really shouldn't have. That was a stupid idea. Man, and now we lost our... Skarmory. At least we have four encounters to decide who we want to add to the team. I know one Pokemon I really want to add is... Flygon. May you rest in peace, my beautiful, beautiful Pokemon. We've lost 15 so far. That's crazy. I'd love to add Flygon. Um, that wouldn't give us much type diversity, that's the issue. So maybe Shawnee Poo will join us. I did make it a Jolteon. I learned Shockwave. At some point, um, so we'll be getting Shockwave soon. It's got Thundershock for now. I mean, type-wise, I don't really know what we need because there's a lot of Pokemon I want to use, but the issue is that a lot of them are ground types as well. I mean, like, three Pokemon I love to use would be Rhydon, because I love the Pokemon itself. Um, Flygon, because I love Flygon so much. And... Where's the other one? Swinub. <laughs> that'd be dope. So, anyway... Let's go get a Safari Zone encounter, and then we'll see who I would like to add to the squad. Pokemon- Oh, these guys! Nice. My name is Phil. I'm not a talker. Okay. Hello, Smeargle. What's up with you and your Slowpoke? Cute Mr. Slowpoke. I like Slowpoke. Oh! Very nice. Very cool things. Let's buy five net balls, and I'll buy five dust balls. Thank you for tuning in, Turok! What a nightmare over my god, I too! What are you waiting for? Like saying, oh, but they're just blah, 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 blah. We just have to get certain Pokemon and bring into them. And, I mean, I'm not gonna specifically go for, uh, Geodid. I don't even remember wh which grass they're in. I think it's like, the actually, I'm pretty sure it's the grass closest to the entrance. So if we run into a Geodude, then that could just kill two birds with one stone, a Graveler. Yeah, not great. Okay, I was about to say, I'm really worried he's gonna explode. There we go. That's lucky. Give a nickname? No. I'm gonna run around and see if I can find items. Because I don't really know what's in here. Oh, I love this place. Look how pretty this is. It's so nice. I love it. It's much better than the Sinnoh one. Where you have all that mud, mud and crap. So is there no items or anything? Is it literally all just... All just area to explore and catch Pokemon? Wow, I thought for sure there was going to be items here, but not a single one to find. I'm done. Thank you. 
Well, I was about to say, where the heck did the Graveler go? But he's in my party. Alright, that guy's actually a relatively low number. Alright, I'm gonna look up a random number generator. The same one that I have bookmarked, but it's like at the very end of my bookmarks. Okay, so we now have all four Pokemon on party. I think I released all the extra Pokemon we had, so we have only like one row left in the last box, so. Anyways, here we are. What is gonna be our number? We always get 28. I'm gonna do another one. 19. Okay. Uh, let's see. 18, 19. Alright. No information on that guy, but that will be level 31. I should probably write this down, but I can remember it. I can remember it, but sometimes I don't trust my own memory, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna write it down. Oh, this notebook's already filled with Pokemon crap. That's soul link information. Which we're still waiting. I'm still waiting on Jadis to use footage so we can do episode. I can make episode 7. Alright. Alright, next up we have number 4. You have a Firestone. Ooh. Ah, uh, you're gonna either be, my guess is a Vulpix, Eevee, or Growlithe. Those might be the only ones that evolved the Firestone, actually. That's funny. It could just be an inference. Anyway, oh, this is gonna be level 32. Hot huh? damn. I don't think I wanna add the Pokemon because it's gonna be a fire type. And I don't need a fire type because I have my Houndoom. Next up is 7. Okay. And this Tingle is level 31. Oh, I dropped my notebook. And finally, for the level 17 Graveler, it is num number 10. Gotta click back on the emulator. Alright, number 10. Uh, 12, 11, 10. Yeah, right here. Jewels! Interesting. Alright, we have Jewels. Alright, let's see what this first Pokemon is. I'm assuming this is gonna be the first one in the party. That's typically how it goes. A Grimer, interesting. Um, let's see, if you're female, I know what I'm gonna name you. Nope, I don't know what I- You know what, this name can be for- work for males too. So we're gonna name it Skylar, cause someone, uh, comments in on a previous episode saying that a female Pokemon Skylar. Even though that's not a female, Skylar can work as a male name and I like it, and I'm perfectly fine with having that thing be Skylar. Anyways, Skylar the Grimer. Mild nature with Curse, Shadow Sneak, Stockpile, and Swallow. Interesting. Once again, I feel like something messed up with the natures, because the ne some of them are so weird. How about you want a mild muck? Anyway, what is this? A Growlithe, I called it. Well, I called it was going to be one of the three Pokemon that evolved with the Firestone. Growlithe! Alright. What should I name a you? Ah, oh, you're female. <laughs> Alright, we're going to name you Skyler, and I'll figure out another name for the, the, the muck. And I'll show you it to you guys in the next episode. We'll figure it out. Anyways, let's check out our little Skyler here. Alright, Timid with Flamethrower, Heatwave, Crunch, and Thrash. Not bad. And Flash Fire. Okay. Very interesting. I'd love to use one, but I don't want Houndoom to die, so... I'm not gonna say I want to use anything. I don't want my Skarmory to die. Because nothing can replace my Skarmory, really. Oh, level 31 is zero. I'm probably gonna hand train it so it can evolve into a Meryl. I'm gonna name you Lucky, because I remember the shiny one I caught as my first encounter uh, <laughs> in our Pokemon X Wonder Wedlock. First encounter on that route. It was pretty cool. Okay. So let's check Lucky out here. Quirky Nature, Body Slam, Water Gun, Tail, Whip, and Sing. Huge power. Okay, so that makes th this thing a lot more viable. Very nice. I can deal with that. I don't remember if which if it's a Zuril to Meryl that evolves with happiness or if it's Meryl to Zumeril. I think Meryl evolves at level 18. So anyways, the final Pokemon is Jules. And Jules okay, it didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna hatch. Alright. What is Jules? A Vulpix. I'm going to call dupes on Jules. I'm not gonna lie, straight up. Jules came into my head because I'm pretty sure that's what Shady names his Vulpix is Jules. So that makes sense that it uh, he had that name Jules. Anyways, we're gonna generate in the same box. We're up to 24. Okay, let's check you out though. You're Tim of Flashfire, Ember Fane Attack, Hypnosis Spite. Okay, decent. All right, so what's this gonna be? This will be 
the, for the level 17 Graveler. Starling. Not bad. Um, I may add you, just so I have a flyer. I'm gonna name you... Irid. Only a few people will understand where that's from. Alright, let's check him out, because I, I may add him straight to the team. Calm Nature with Pursuit, Feather Dance, Sand Attack, and Double Edge. That is such a weird moveset. But why would you go Calm? Why would you not flip and go anything that doesn't lower attack or speed? And man, I don't get that. You don't even have Reckless, which that may- that sucks. Alright, we're gonna teach you Fly. Um, get rid of Sand Attack. Yeah, he have Double Edge, you don't even have Reckless. Like, what the hey, man? <laughs> I don't even know if I can learn anything else. Man, I would have loved to add the Starly, but it's just, it's, overall this Starly's just not that great. Um, I want to weigh my options. I want a flyer. I mean, I'd love to have a flyer. I'm not going to, like, force a flyer. Though. I mean, we do have Aerodactyl. I mean, we have such good Pokemon. We don't have a lot of Pokemon that fit what we need. I just need a flyer. I mean, freaking Skarmory was the perfect Pokemon. Why did I have to let it die? I'm, like, I'm actually really mad about that, because that was such a stupid thing that I did. I just left it in. I shouldn't have done that. I knew it was freaking paralyzed and up against a hound dude. Alright, anyway, Griffin's getting on the team. He's decently close in level. I'll have to train him up 10 levels. I will record it, and if it's long enough, I will make it into a grinding montage. Otherwise, we're not even going to worry about it, but, um... I mean, I'm excited to use an Aerodactyl. It's not that, that bulky. Luckily, that Hestia and Terror cover our bulk pretty pretty nicely. You're our special attacker, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I will get these guys leveled up off-screen. And, yeah, so I'm going to have to look in to see how Azuril evolves, which one is Happiness. Uh, because if it's Happiness, I will manually train this one. That was the thing, is like... Earlier, I had the Piplup, and I trained it up all the way to our team level, uh, level 27. Yet, I could have rare candied it up to, like, 25 because of the egg lock rules. And I forgot about that completely, so... <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's about it. So, really, if you enjoyed this guy's video, like, appreciate it. And, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.